Many cities across the nation will not open up public pools or summer camps due to COVID-19. While this may be the simple solution, the city of Spokane is working hard to bring those activities back for the season. 4 News Now reporter Katerina Krasafis learned more about their plans and brings us the latest. When we think of warmer months, we usually picture summer camp or maybe swimming lessons. However, due to the coronavirus, these activities might look a little different. When the world was shut down, many people spent more time outdoors. It was loud and clear. In a time of need, people love our parks and open spaces. Now things are slowly starting to open back up, but pools and summer camps are still on the table. Where we're at right now is what we call we're under the core service model. The city of Spokane's Parks and Recreation Department has already seen a 30% decline in revenue due to the pandemic, meaning what they are able to open will be limited. What we're doing now is strategically looking at other programs like day camps, aquatics. However, just because they may open doesn't mean things will be exactly the same. As of right now, they'd only allow 50% of their normal capacity for each activity. They'd also have employees working to enforce social distancing of at least six feet. Bottom line is, you know, are, are the guidelines that are issued by the state and local officials, are they feasible and then are they are they safe? That's what the city is trying to figure out. Spokane County is on the same page. We're all working together on evaluating the guidelines, interpreting those guidelines. Although it may not be easy. Two thirds of our staff is not with us right now. So we're, we're running on about one third of our capacity of our entire staff in Parks and Recreation. They're determined to come up with a solution so that everyone can enjoy all that Spokane has to offer. We want to do good to our community. We want to maintain these beautiful parks that we have uh, during this tough time. In Spokane, Katerina Krasafis, 4 News Now.